So you need to establish a data governance council. There are a lot of stakeholders you might consider including, but which ones should you include? Let's talk about who to include in the Data Governance Council. There can be a lot of senior leaders at different levels and plenty subject matter experts which might feel they should be included, or at least which you might feel should be included. Yeah, that's probably more realistic. Usually there's not a long queue for people volunteering to be part of councils and committees. Do I wonder if that's different in your organization? Actually, please let me know in the comments below if you feel people jump at the opportunity to be part of a committee or quite the opposite. And it doesn't need to be a data governance one. All right, the reality is that there can be quite a few stakeholders you want to select to be part of the Data Governance Council. What do you do? You want to make the selection process transparent and fair. The selection criteria could consider the following. Seniority level and level of influence. You need members in this Data Governance Council that have a weight in the organization because they need to help with um, putting together that message that data governance is important, that data should be treated as an asset, and help push and approve important agenda items. You should also consider an individual's business expertise over key systems and business domains. At the same time, you also need representation from key business areas such as finance and HR and IT and other areas that might be specific to your industry. Other consideration would be around personality traits. Yep, that should be part of the criteria, but maybe this is not put on paper per se. In the end, you want to look at those personality traits of the members, of the people that you want to include in this council, so that not everyone will you know, butt heads in these meetings. You still want a level of disagreement but not one that is not constructive. The last part of the criteria is optional as it considers time availability. It's optional because the reality is that no one has a lot of time on their hands anyways, but the idea is what could they bump off their plates to take on this new appointment. So that concludes the selection criteria. Next, let's look at the number of appointments or members you should have in your data governance council. As there could be many to choose from, you want to set a ceiling for the number of members. Depending on the size of your organization, this could range anywhere from five to 15 to 19 and anywhere in between. Here's a tip. Ideally, you set an odd number of voting members as that will help in certain voting situations. Besides the regular members, you need to have a chair to conduct the meetings. And this could be one of the regular members. That's your call. This chair is usually the data governance lead, which could be the uh, data governance director, chief data officer, chief data steward, etc. But not necessarily. Sometimes it could even be an extra mediator. Regardless who this person is, state how they are appointed. And it's usually by the sponsor or sponsors of the data governance program. That's about it. Please hit the like button if you find the advice on the selection criteria and number of members to be useful. One last thing to add is that the council might also have invited guests or adjunct members. These are usually subject matter experts brought in for consultation or reporting purposes for specific meetings, for specific questions, for specific topics. They do not have voting rights, so they will not be part of the roster. Thank you to the sponsor of this video, Detaidu. Detaidu allows you to catalog, document, and understand your data with a data dictionary, a business glossary, and ER diagrams. Go get a free trial and check them out for yourself. You can use the following coupon code for a 10% discount on your purchase. The links are in the video's description, so start boosting your data and software initiatives today. Don't forget to check out lightsondata.com. Here you can find more informative content such as templates and guides, best practices, articles and other useful resources 
to help you with your data governance and data management questions and challenges. Please don't forget to subscribe as it's free and it will really help me out as well. Thank you.